If you haven't heard of digital escape rooms, they are so good for engaging your students. In this video, I'm going to walk you through essential pieces to a digital escape room and walk you through an examples, um, a couple examples of how you can use this in your own out school classroom. You have probably heard of a physical escape room or done one yourself where you, your friends, your family, whoever you're, you're doing a physical escape room with, you're in a room, locked in a room, and you are working together to find clues, to solve puzzles, to try to escape the room. So a digital escape room, it works the same way. Your students are finding clues. So essentially, instead of a room, your students are exploring a Google site. Your, your escape room could be housed in forms, Google forms, or Google slides. I love Google. Students are looking for clues created with pictures, created with text. Um, you can link to other websites. So students are actually learning as they're going through the escape room. No fluffiness. Let me show you two examples of digital escape rooms that I have created, one using Google Sites and one using Google Forms. So let's see what these look like. Here is our escape room created in Google Sites, and it really kind of looks like a website because that's essentially what Google Sites is. And I have different tabs here that are going to link to different pages for our escape room. And you can see there are lots of pictures. There are words. These are all clues. Here is our Google form. This one, I have our, our story here and we're solving multiplication problems. So students, it's more linear where they're going versus the, the site. They can explore the whole site. Here, we're following step by step. So, and they have a couple choices. We have our first move. What should we do? And you can click one and it will move on to the, to the next step. Oh, yelling really loud. That wasn't the best option. So we better go back and get started with our computer. So we're going to our computer. We have more of our story. We're ready. And then we're ready for our first question. The students need to solve in order to keep moving on. At the end of the month, I am going to be showing teachers how to create their own digital escape room with Google Forms and be able to customize it to your subject, what you're teaching, and teach with it inside your own out school classroom. I'm so excited for this workshop. It's been a much requested workshop to teach you guys how to create your own digital escape rooms. So these escape rooms, they do look different, but they all have the same components that make them running. Our digital escape rooms, they need to have these essential components to make the escape room engaging, make it actually work and fun while students are learning. Those, th those three things are story, clues, and a lockbox. So our lockbox, so much like in a physical escape room, you have that, that key, that lock on the door, or you're unlocking various doors inside the room. You're unlocking cabinets to try to further find your clues. We need a type of lockbox inside our digital one. We can't use a physical key. So Google Forms is like the perfect lockbox because Google Forms, the way you can set it up, it will self-correct your students and actually tell them if they have the answer right or wrong as soon as they type the answer in, much like a physical lock. So we have this example here. We have this question. We have the here, our answer. And let's just type in an answer. And I'm going to click next. Oops, that wasn't correct. I have to type in the correct answer which is 48 in order to move on. I cannot move on unless I have that one. So lock boxes, Google Forms, fantastic. Uh, next is our clues. Every good escape room, like you have to have clues. So our clues can vary on what we give to our students. There 
the sky's the limit when it comes to clues. In this example, our Google Form example, the escape room, our clues are essentially what I want my students to practice. So this one here is our a multiplication. One, we're solving word problems, our clues, also sprinkled in to the story. So here we finally unlocked our computer. We remembered our password. We unlocked our computer. We're looking for more clues. So we need to look in some file folders. Let's just click this one. Next. Now we're, that's our clue. It's kind of built into our story. Um, we look into it. We're ready to take a closer look at the message. And we're on to our next question that I want my students to practice. The last one is our story. So important because like a physical escape room, that room is completely transformed into what you are escaping. I did one with friends once and we were escaping the shed, a shed. So, you know, there are garden tools up on the wall. There are um, scarecrows, just things you would find inside a shed that totally transform the room and it really helps you put yourself into that story. So in a digital escape room, that story is so important. So we go, we are setting up the story, the very beginning. So this story we've, you know, are trying to catch the leprechaun. So we just built the leprechaun and catcher 3000 and Somehow it went off. I accidentally pushed a button and now we're trapped inside the Leprechaun 3000. We need to get out of it. Meant for the Leprechaun, but it, we trapped ourselves instead. So we're going through all of these clues to escape this room. So I'm really telling the story. I set up the story and then through the pictures that we have into our, our story. You can see we are trapped. I'm really telling that story and then built in our, I themed the questions related to the theme here. So all of these multiplication word problems have to do with the story as well to go into that, that theme. So there is our digital escape room. Digital escape rooms are such a fun way to engage your students as you're practicing your math problems, reading, reading comprehension, science, history. You can really build in that story, build in those real life situations as your students are trying to solve a problem. They're trying to escape that situation you set up for them. If you're ready for more, click this video on your screen to see the benefits of teaching with digital escape rooms in your out school classroom. See you in that video.